Our interest has always been stuck to creatures that existed years ago. The most important example of this is dinosaurs. Dinosaurs existed and went extinct years ago, but they keep on revisiting us through cinema, stories, and now there are rumors that you might be able to see one moving on your side soon. Evolution has always been unidirectional, and it never moves backwards, but certain scientists today claim to hold command of science, and they confidently say that it's possible to take evolution and variation in reverse directions. By saying this, these scientists mean that they can bring dinosaurs back to life. Um, all this time I thought people who resurrect till date were taken under the names of God today. Are dinosaurs also going to share the same fate? Well, just a question. Imagine a world where Jurassic Park movies are no more fiction and characters of movies are walking beside you. These huge, ugly, and dangerous creatures moving here and there causing harm to people, or maybe not. You'll be amused to know that this research to bring dinosaurs back to life has already begun, and it's asking for time of five to ten years to bring the dinosaur species back into the world. To date, scientists are unable to clone dinosaurs because they're unable to find a DNA sample of the species. But a team of scientists who are working under a special team project, specifically on extinct DNAs, says that mosquitoes show promise, an ancient insect who died years ago. Its body has been preserved, and it's said that the insect who bit a reptile just before its death, though the theory after years of research didn't see any bright light, but paleontologists are studying fossils of dinosaurs in hope to find DNA samples in them. Digging deep, some scientists found red blood cells, proteins, and collagen. Collagen was taken as a symbol of hope, and the collagen which was found in Tyrannosaurus was found to be similar to that of an ostrich. Still, it was not much help, because of which scientists based in America have given up on their dream to bring dinosaurs back into existence. They have given up by giving a statement that genetic material of any species gets destroyed within 6.3 million years post-extinction, and it's been 65 million years since that dinosaur went extinct. When some were taking back steps, Jack Horner, a paleontologist, suggested a completely distinctive manner for resurrection of dinosaurs. His design for the same is called the Chickenosaurus. All that is required to execute his plan is to activate the inactive dinosaur genes already present inside a chicken. Sounds like Horner wants to do a makeover of these birds to make them look like a dinosaur. It is popularly known that birds and alligators are evolutionarily descended from theropods, bipedal, carnivorous dinosaurs. By taking just three steps in the world of gene mutation, scientists can reach a stage to bring dinosaurs back to life. And these steps include the formation of a tail, formation of proper toothed mouth instead of a beak, and the formation of limbs in place of wings. Though the thought was not taken seriously by scientists, until two scientists, one from Harvard and the other one from Chicago, were able to grow a chicken embryo without a beak and a round snout in place. They learned the molecular technique of the formation of a dinosaur-like mouth and injected various chemicals inside the embryo, which halted the action of protein, which helps with the formation of beaks in chickens. If we talk about teeth, it was discovered years ago that it requires enamel to have teeth in the mouth. So enamel genes were injected into the mouth of chickens to enable them to have teeth. A scientist in Chile raised a chicken with unusual legs, legs similar to the dinosaur legs. In dinosaurs' legs, the tibia and fibia was approximately similar, while in birds, except penguins, the size of the fibia is much shorter than its companion. By forming various transgenetic animals, scientists in Chile are able to make changes in bones of chicken's legs and take them back in time. Though scientists are able to tax two challenges in their prices, but formation of a tail is a topic of concern. In modern birds, the tailbone is present beneath the wings, which give them support. But the interesting part is, when a chicken is in its embryonic stage, it has a tail, but during its growth, a genetic flip occurs and the tail disappears. Various mutations have been studied in order to bring back tails to these chickens. Though, 
For now, an artificial tail is an option in front of scientists to see what kind of changes in movements of chickens these tails bring. Corner feels that it's not possible now to show sunlight to the dinosaurs. He estimates the cost of this project to be $300,000 to a million dollars, with painstaking work of one year. He states that the CRISPR, otherwise known as CRISPR, used to change genomes of living organisms. It has the ability to change a human genome as well. It is what actually is required for the resurrection of the dinosaurs. If we take it seriously and think for once, if this research actually comes into being, then what kind of life will humans be living? Big cities, crowds, and noises will be able to keep them away, and villagers and other settlements. There will be need to form holes for protection of the residents there. A different force of specialists will be formed to control dinosaurs from interfering with human civilization. The traffic of metropolitan cities will make them stay away, as in the case of other animals today, but the line vehicles will be picked up by some new predators, and this will result in people taking fewer trips. People will prefer to stay home instead of going out in the face of a huge, ugly adventure. This step back will cause an impact on the tourism industry. Import and export will get expensive because the drivers going on some lonely, long routes might have a chance to face these monstrous species. This job will be considered as a life or death case. And in such scenarios, drivers will be given huge pay hikes. Sailors, with the chance of facing dangerous sea animals in the way, will also be getting a lot of money in exchange for getting their life in danger. Trade of this extinct animal will be a boom in this industry because there will be people looking for unusual pets, meat, and to decorate them as trophy meat in their homes. Let's face it, Jurassic Parks will not just be for fun after their real owners come into existence. People will only be able to visit these parks only if serious security measures have been taken. Paleontologists will be the most happy to find dinosaurs back into an existence. This will enable them to study their behavior and vocalizations. The next thing which will get famous on YouTube and television is going to be dino documentaries. There is no doubt in the fact that dinosaurs ruled the earth millions of years ago, but today's humans are holding the charge. If they come back, will they be able to digest their charge in someone else's hand? Considering climate conditions today, in which even humans are unable to survive, will these massive animals have the capacity to survive through this? Or will they be the only ones to survive these havoc conditions? Though dinosaurs' resurrection means a lot of hike in income for some people, it also means equal danger. It will be great if we let evolution choose what's best for it, and where to head on next.